will be hoping that Sparks will fly for his side tonight as Cardiff are flirting with danger just above the drop zone. As for Blues, John Eustace will be hoping to rekindle that early season form. The Blues boss is looking for three wins on the spin tonight, something Birmingham haven't achieved since November 2021. And it's Blues. Hannibal and Bielik linked up for Christian Bielik's first goal in blue. What can he conjure up here? It's Djukovic who just couldn't measure the flight of the ball, being marshalled well by McGuinness as it went over the big man's head. And used more so tonight. Shong, left arm raised, left footed delivery. It's a decent one. It was Dean arriving, taken off his head. And there's Trusty in there as well, directing towards goal, slightly wide. But Blues looking dangerous from these set pieces. Yeah, well, we have been all season, haven't we? And we have been a real threat from set pieces, so let's see what we can work here. They go short from this one. Hannibal and Chong combining. Hannibal's ball is dealt with at the front post by Kaba. Chong looking to open his box of tricks down the right-hand side. He's got Hannibal in support. It's his cross into the danger area. Dean was rising. It's dealt with again by the Bluebirds. The Irishman, the early stage of this second half. Collan seeking out Bakuna, stabbed away by Cardiff. Sanderson. Collan over his head as McGuinness again just climbing over Hannibal to win the header but play will continue Bakuna flat ball into That's the penalty area Djukovic arriving Ooh. and attacking but the pace just taken off the ball well marshalled in the end by Capre no doubt take the place of Hannibal he's just had one too many fouls now and that's a big let off Winter into the penalty area Kaba towards goal just too high I think closest Cardiff have come yeah he comes on into the fray to look to make the difference for the Bluebirds. It's Callum Robinson. Here is Wickham immediately into the fray. Connor Wickham could be away here. Angles tight and Ruddy did well to hold that at his front post. Snapshot on the turn from Connor Wickham. Yeah, Connor Wickham did really well actually to get the shot on target. Involvement since coming on. Flick on is by Troy Deeney. Hogan looking to bring the ball under his spell. Might come out for Gary Gardner to hit it. Not too far away and took a deflection on its way through. Corner kick, Blues. And by Wintle, dealt with by Dean. Dowder keeps it alive into the danger area. Ruddy came, came up to fill a gene, but a space for the effort on the left foot. Blues bodies throwing themselves in That's front terrific. of the effort. Yeah, it is. And G, isn't it? Lining this up. It is and G, it's brilliant! It's absolutely spectacular from Perry and G. Covered by the Bluebirds defence. Robinson wrestling, tussling. Bielik comes out with it within the midfield and slots it through towards Troy Deeney. The flag's up on the far side. Troy Deeney around the goalkeeper and into the empty net, but it won't count. The flag was up pretty hastily on the far side of the 90 remain. Deeney flicks on, Hogan making a nuisance of himself back there. Hogan could be in here, Scott Hogan, Jordan James! Terrific challenge at the depth. Joe Rules back there with a goal-saving challenge, the Cardiff City captain. Here's Robinson looking to bury the hatchet for Cardiff City and it's in! Game, set and match for the Bluebirds. Six minutes of added time. And that is that. Callum Robinson putting the game beyond all doubt in the last minute of added time. Lamushi gets his first winner's Cardiff boss, but on Valentine's Day, it was an absolute beauty from Perry and G that proved to be the difference between the two sides until 95 minutes. They've got their first win in 15 in some fashion indeed. Uh, and Blues have been beaten 2-0 at home by Cardiff City.